we are going to discuss about the transmission of impulses so in previous video we have discussed about what are the two types of impulses and then we have even discussed about the two types of axons and then the basic information about the uh, neural system now we are going to discuss about the transmission of impulses now here what is meant by impulses you already know so it is nothing but the electrical signals that is just transmitted from one neuron to next neuron so now a nerve impulse is transmitted from one neuron to the another another neuron through synapse so what is the synapse it is the neuromuscular junction so see here so this diagram is indicating the chemical synapse what we have discussed in the earlier videos now see here the space so the space that is present in between the two neurons so consider this as the neuron 1 and consider this as the neuron 2 now there is a space so see here this is the space this blue color region is the space so this this is what called as the synaptic cleft so what is this synaptic cleft see here many kinds of chemicals has been stored here as a temporarily temporarily in this region that's why it is called as the synaptic cleft so see here this is the synaptic cleft so now a nerve impulse is transmitted from one neuron to another through synapse through the through the gap that is present between two neurons when an impulse arrives at the axon terminal this is the axon terminal so this bulb like structure is the axon terminal so what is this structure i drawn at the terminal of the neuron i drawn a very small bulb like structure so this has been this uh, last terminal structure this bulb like structure has been magnified so this is the magnified structure of this uh, terminal bulb like structure can you understand so when an impulse arrives at the axon terminal the synaptic vesicles move towards the plasma membrane so now what is happening so these are the synaptic vesicles this round uh, globule like structures they are considered as the synaptic vesicles i have already told you about this vesicles means like a storage thing like vacuole so now synaptic vesicles store the electric impulse in the form of chemicals inside each and every synaptic vesicles you can see the uh, storage of chemical impulses okay so now when an impulse arrives at the axon terminal the synaptic vesicles move towards the plasma membrane it is moving towards the plasma membrane where will be the plasma membrane at the outer structure at the outer uh, region of the whatever previous cell so a neuron is also a cell a cell will be having a cell membrane or plasma membrane now the synaptic vesicles are move, moving towards the outer region of our uh, neuron okay neuron cell now and release the neurotransmitters in the synaptic cleft so here there are many neurotransmitters are there and what is mean what is meant by neurotransmitters it is nothing but all this chemicals that are present inside the synaptic vesicles will be transmitted will be transmitted by this neurotransmitters now for example acetylcholine acetylcholine and what are the other examples dopamine dopamine and then there is a neurotransmitter called gaba and then serotonin serotonin all this are considered as the neurotransmitters understood uh, so where it is transferring this uh, neurotransmitter where it is transferring the chemical uh, signals so it is transferring into the synaptic cleft understood so now again i am saying again i am reading when an impulse arrives at the axon terminal the impulse is arriving at the axon terminal at the bulb like structure the synaptic vesicles move towards plasma membrane all the synaptic vesicles is moving towards the plasma membrane so this outer region is the plasma region they fuse with it they are fusing with the plasma membrane fusing means they are getting binded with the plasma membrane and release the neurotransmitter here they have just for an example they have mentioned here as acetylcholine neurotransmitter uh, where it is releasing this uh, uh, neurotransmitter it is this neurotransmitter acetylcholine is released in the synaptic cleft understood now the neurotransmitters bind to the specific receptors on the post synaptic membrane we have already told you that so this first neuron this first neuron is called as pre presynaptic neuron presynaptic neuron and the second neuron is called as the post synaptic neuron post synaptic neuron understood now what is happening the neurotransmitters bind to their specific receptors so here these kind of things are called as the receptor right so these are the receptors that is present in the post synaptic neuron now this neurotransmitter this released from the presynaptic neuron is getting binded to the post synaptic neuron that is present that is present in the outer structure of the neuron okay understood and open ion channels allowing the entry of ions that can 
generate a new potential in the post synaptic neuron so what is meant by generating a potential it is nothing but a new voltage will get uh, uh, secreted in already we have studied in the body fluids and circulation what is meant by action potential that is nothing but the production of voltage here also when this neurotransmitter is transmitter is getting binded with this receptor that is present in post synaptic neuron it is producing a action potential so that action poten potential will just convert into nerve impulse and again it will start to uh, start to spread from one neuron to the next neuron to uh, just uh, do an action so do just to, to do an continue an activity so that's how the impulses has been transmitted from one neuron to the next neuron okay students understood now again i am just reading so what is transmission of impulses a uh, nerve impulse is transmitted from one neuron to the another neuron through the synapse what is meant by synapse the space that is present in between two neurons now when an impulse arrives at the axon terminal which is the bulb like structure the synaptic vesicles move towards the plasma membrane all the synaptic vesicles will move towards the plasma membrane and the synaptic vesic vesicles will get few with the plasma membrane and release the neurotransmitters what is this neurotransmitters so the help of the neurotransmitters will be so it will use to convert the new uh, nerve impulse into chemicals so for example acetylcholine so these uh, these when these uh, synaptic when this uh, synaptic vesicles fuse with the plasma membrane it will release the neurotransmitter so for example acetylcholine where it will release the neurotransmitter it will release the neurotransmitter in the synaptic cleft now this neurotransmitter will bind with the receptors that is present in the post synaptic neuron so where will be the post synaptic neuron will be it will be in the second neuron okay so now when this uh, neurotransmitter bind with the post synaptic neuron it opens the ion channels so so that it can allow the entry of ions and they can generate a new potential in the post synaptic neuron understood okay understood buddies so this is what transmission of impulses